over at Campo Escondido. Last night we stayed at Campo Coco, Playa Coco, which sucked. It was right on the road. I was so disappointed. I was considering suicide. Literally, you can probably see it, but the road was like 20 feet away from where we camped. But we were so tired of driving and on each other's butts that we just spent the night there. But today we found a much better place. Probably gonna stay here for three days. There's Amy out cruising around. I'm hoping she's gonna master her SUP skills the next three days. Really pretty. The wind picks up in the afternoons. It's real calm though this morning. Nice neighbors from Switzerland. We parked a little too close and then we moved over just to keep the peace with the peaceful nation. So um, this is just south of us from Escondida. This is Playa Coco, south in the distance. That's where we stayed that night last night. As you can see, the road is right there. We were at the very last Palapa. Looks like someone else has moved in. But man, it was jake brakes and big trucks and stuff. We thought it might calm down, but those truckers, they just go all night. These people think I'm talking to myself. Here's the big truck. Right, there's our camp spot right there. <laughs> oh, good lord. Boom, got a good dive. Wildlife photography is limited to pelicans and rabbits. This isn't a very good example, but I'm gonna get a big truck. But here comes the cars, and there was our spot just. So not what you want to do, drive 600 miles and be right by the road. It's okay. We learned our lesson. Very volcanic here. Volcanoes and the flood of Noah's day made all this possible. Beautiful rock formations and there's cactus everywhere. It's the mainland. We're going to go over to this little rock of an island. We're coming up on this little island. It's, uh, it's for sale through Roberto's Baja Real Estate. It's about 10 acres, slightly hilly. There is a building pad on the beach with potential for a boat dock. Um, we're accepting offers. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to be very coastal, 360 degrees around, and basically be a complete hermit, live out in the desert, drink too much, um, potential for going crazy, maybe building some kind of trade around the tourist trade, painting rocks and selling them to tourists. A little fishing boat coming up. Probably gonna hit me up or something. That's the one thing about the beach we're on. You got people selling you everything. Blankets, their children, ice, water you don't need, kayaks. Say hi, you're on the bear tube. You're famous now. Yep, they're excited. We should have never bought this camera for you. So we're rounding this island that we're offering an 
Roberto International Real Estate. Wind's starting to pick up a little bit. This is the normal wind every afternoon. That's why these little beaches are so coveted because they're kind of tucked in behind headlands and they're out of the wind to stay real tranquil out here in the bay. It can get kind of choppy. So we're going to round this island and do a downwinder, head for home. Time for a hot dog and maybe three or four Takati lights. Fisherman here. Saw a trigger fish over here. I don't know. This isn't really fishing time of year for fishing, I don't think. Not for the pelagics. But what a great day. What a great way to spend the day fishing off your own 10 acre once in a lifetime island through Roberto Real Estate International. We are now accepting offers. I'm from the pass here, heading back to camp. My feet are done. Good, man. Beautiful day. Right? Yeah. I was, at first I was like, I'm not gonna do anything till tomorrow. I'm not gonna do anything till tomorrow. Yeah, definitely. My name's Rob. I think I'm staying. Me and my wife are staying right next to you and your wife. I'm Roy. Roy, nice to meet you, Roy. Thank Pleasure. You my wife, Patricia. Okay, very good. Where are you guys from? Uh, California. Nice. Oh, Us too. Friend. Yeah, we're from San Clemente. Okay, San Clemente. Yeah. yeah I drove by there. Hey. <laughs> Hey, well, hope uh, maybe I saw a guy catch a trigger fish. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm trying to figure it out. I wish I knew how to fish out here. I yeah. just got some stuff and see what happens. Exactly. There you go. There you go. Well, have fun, man. Good. Right, to, nice too. to meet you, Roy. You too, so heading back in. This will be our home for three days. And we're headed to Santa Rosalita. And score some barrels at the notch. We've got two solar panels hooked up. Campground. One is the Bug Out 120. And one is the Amy 2001 Special. Just soaking in the rays. She's not going to wave. She doesn't like being on camera. She's a shy, kind of a pain in the butt sometimes. Say hi to the bear tube. Your fans miss you. Doing a little climb. It's the island I picked.